Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma okay. So, we are discussing about uh, the cells which do not divide, that is the cardiac muscle cells and the cells of the brain which might di stop dividing after 10 to 12 years of age. Now, um, some cells, they keep dividing, okay? They keep dividing when and uh, where necessary, like for example, uh, liver cells. Wherever we have, um, uh, you know, damage or uh, whenever there is an injury, then the cells start regenerating, okay? Regenerating or dividing. Sometimes what happens, some cells, they do not... Uh, they keep on dividing like for example cell cells of the cells of the epidermis skin okay can you all hear me yes yes ma'am yes ma'am ma yes, yes, ma okay okay so what we are discussing is that some cells which continuously divide continuously divide uh, like for example cells of uh, you know epidermis and dermis okay the cells of uh, uh, the palm okay palm and foot oral cavity okay vaginal cavity these keep on dividing there is continuous uh, wear and tear continuous uh, new cell formations okay so that's why these cells keep on dividing so we have various types of cells at various regions of the body that is some cells do not divide at all some cells divide only when it is required okay and some cells keep on dividing whenever it is needed okay so now see for example if you are taking any cell of oral cavity Okay, oral cavity inside the mouth, uh, you take, um, uh, you know, buccal cavity inside the chin, you take a scraping and you try to observe the cells, the cells keep on dividing. Okay, and these cells, because there is continuous wear and tear, we are eating every day. Okay, so that's why what happens is there is continuous wear and tear of this epidermal cells, which is present inside, not epidermal, epithelial cells, which is present inside the oral cavity. So if you take out these cells and see, okay, how do they divide? You take any cells which divide and check, okay, there, ha there are some phases to them. What are the phases? We have all the cells Already we discussed that once there is division completing, they enter into a phase which is called as interphase, okay? You can even draw this diagram because cell cycle can be a short note question, okay? So in cell cycle, you will have to draw this picture. You have to remember that once four phases, four mitotic phases is complete, it, the cell enters into interphase. In interphase, there is something called as resting phase, okay, which is not shown here, which is present between the mitotic phase and the growth and metabolic phase, okay. So, this resting phase or it is also called as dormant phase. Sometimes what happens is some cells go into this resting phase and they do not divide at all, okay. They only either can enter into growth and normal metabolic role, first growth phase, G1 phase, that's all. Okay. And stay there here, stay here forever. Okay. Like cells of cardiac, heart, cells of heart. Okay. So these cells keep on present there in the G1 phase only. They will not be entering into S phase or synthesis phase. Okay. Now, once uh, they are here what they do they are basically present for normal growth uh, normal functions whatever is required by the cell so only that related growth is seen here okay and then this phase is called as g1 phase okay this is called as g1 or growth one phase then you enter into when the cell divides like for example now the cell is entering into division phase okay so this cell what you do if, when it enter into second stage that is synthesis phase or s phase here the uh, once the cell enter here 
it cannot go back or it will not go into the resting stage or the g1 phase it will only go forwards okay it will stop only after division cell division in synthesis phase what happens dna replication happens okay dna replication means well, well, if the cell has to divide the the dna has to split okay split and replicate okay replicate and uh, replicate and split remember that it is not duplicating dna is not duplicating that means what duplicating means what 46 chromosomes becomes double okay that is not happening here only replication is happening replication means single cell strand okay single strand of dna is replicating into another carbon copy okay so this is what is happening in the synthesis phase so dna replication is happening the amount of genetic material is present that remains same okay it's not increasing in quantity it remains the same just it is separating into two parts that's it okay so here whatever is required for the cell division that all the proteins required uh, metabolites what is required for cell division are growing here okay are synthesized here then it goes to the g2 phase now g2 phase is second growth phase now here entirely whatever is required for the mitosis or cell division that is been developed here okay so the proteins required for it okay mm, uh, uh, whatever is pending here that will complete here okay so once after all this after the mitotic phase okay uh, after g2 phase the cell enters into mitotic phase now this mitotic phase is a cell division cycle so cell division happens and four different phases the main phases okay those are prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase okay so these are the phase phases means phase means it's a um, time period okay so prophase metaphase remember pro means first meta means middle ana means end telo means division okay so prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase so like this we have four phases in the mitosis now what are the phases of mitosis we know that so after g2 immediately it enter into all these phases finally you have to remember that see the cell cycle which is present here we are entering we are expanding trying to see what is happening here in the different phases at the end after telophase remember that the cell undergo cytokinesis kinesis means split okay in telophase what is happening separation of the cell membrane is happening whereas cyto cyto means cell kinesis means splitting so splitting of the cell is happening which gives rise to two daughter cells okay so either after completing the mitosis the cell enter into the newly formed cell enter into g0 phase that means no growth phase no division phase or it might enter into g1 phase okay again so that it can be resting depending upon the type of cell depending upon where it has to enter okay now let us see what are the various phases and what is actually happening in each phase okay these are the stages stages of mitosis you can draw write okay where uh, you can even study and make your own uh, notes for mitosis and meiosis mitosis and meiosis are short note questions for you they will come for examination okay five mark question or three mark question they will be asking you you have to draw the diagrams you can make a flow chart and in the diagram itself you can explain it okay now see here this is the cell parent cell and in prophase what is actually happening the initially uh, there is you can see the cell membrane the nucleus okay nuclear membrane is present and 
whatever genetic material is present inside the cell it is not condensed please remember that when it is in normal g2 phase it is not condensed when it is coming closer to the prophase what is happening the genetic material is condensing okay condense means what condense means thicken okay initially it is like a big uh, wire of so much of uh, a long wire which is wavy and just put inside the nucleus and the nucleolus but what is actually happening the genetic material when it is required they are coming together they are forming nice condensed thick material called as chromatin okay so see here chromatin again condenses again condenses to form chromosomes so you will see chromosome structure only when it is going to the cell division first thing to remember now in this particular cell we are showing two different colors remember that why two different colors because these are the group of chromosomes one from the maternal group and one from the paternal group don't think only four chromosomes are there it's like total 23 pairs are there okay please remember that so now what i am doing i'm just representing few so that i can show you the picture okay so in all the pictures we are showing only four chromosomes don't think only four chromosomes are there we have 23 like this 23 pairs are there when we are saying 23 pairs what do you mean by pairs one chromosome from the mother and one chromosome from the father so like this 23 pairs of chromosomes are there now the cell is ready for cell division what is actually happening in prophase first the nuclear membrane is disintegrating you can see that nuclear membrane is disintegrating and you can see that what are these these are the centrioles okay in every cell you already studied that the centrioles there are two centrioles one vertical and one horizontal first thing what is happening is during cell division the centrioles split okay centrioles split and they go to the opposite poles now from the centrioles we will get nice spindle fibers okay you can see uh like a spider web you can see the spindle fibers growing from here these are nothing but microtubules which are growing and they are reaching the uh nuclear membrane okay nuclear membrane is already disintegrating so by prophase by the end of prophase what you will see nuclear membrane is gone okay chromatin nicely condenses to form chromosomes the uh, the centrioles are split and a uh, extending to the opposite poles of the cell okay and cytoplasm is covering the entire cell so the uh, the chromosomes are actually floating inside the cytoplasm okay because there is no nuclear membrane present here now second what happens is it enters into metaphase in metaphase now very clearly nuclear membrane uh, nuclear envelope is completely gone okay now this is the stage where the chromosomes are all accumulating at the equatorial plate equatorial plate means you know that you know globe equator equator of the globe is center of the globe right so same like that center of the cell uh, is a equatorial plate okay so there all the chromosomes are coming and they are arranging themselves in an order okay so all the chromosomes 23 pairs of chromosomes come together and they all arrange in an order at the center of the plate okay so this is where we do karyotyping this is where what we do there is no nuclear membrane only cell membrane is there so we are adding a dye colchicin which is a resin which will stop arrest the cell division at metaphase so i get nice chromosomes here only chromosomes so i just take this cell into a pipette and drop it on the slide so the cell membrane ruptures only the chromosomes are present and the chromosomes are stuck to the um, gelatin coated slide okay so what about cell organelles all cell organelles now they become very shrinken okay go to a corner okay mostly what happens is cell organelles are slowly uh, they are 
you know uh, developing the proteins which are required for the cell division and they are present at the corners even the mitochondria and everything are organized at one of the corners of the cell mostly most important is only the chromosomes and the spindle fibers then comes to the next phase that is anaphase in anaphase what is happening the spindle fibers are growing so well and they get stuck to this kinetochores okay so remember kinetochores kinetochores are the sticky areas at the centromere centromere is the joining point of all the chromatids sister chromatids we know that p arms and q arms they are all joined at the center at the centromere so on either side of the centromere we have kinetochore which is a sticky substance where the spindle fiber goes and adheres to it very strong adheration is seen here because what happens is when the spindle fibers pull back okay this portion is very nicely stuck but at the centromere the division is happening okay so that is happening at the anaphase sister chromatids are separating now see this is not what is happening this is the difference in mitosis and meiosis here the genetic material is split into two parts okay so what is happening here replication already replicated dna is present we have sister chromatids so at the centromere there is splitting and half of the genetic material goes to the other one cell and half what is present here goes to the other cell okay but remember that how many number of chromosomes are there same number of chromosomes are present in both the daughter cells isn't it so here initially we started with four here also we have four here also we have four so the number of chromosomes does not reduce okay please remember that right the quantity of genetic material is reducing but not the number of chromosomes okay so it's just the chromatids dividing at the centromere and half goes to other side and other half goes to the another part of the daughter cell so here what is happening nicely two cells are fully formed at the anaphase stage the centromeres are completely dividing and we'll go to the next phase where cytoplasm starts dividing okay now see what is happening cytoplasm also needs to divide right so cytoplasm also contains all the cell organelles now cell organelles are equally distributed on both the cells cytoplasm and cell organelles they are all dividing in a proper way and distributed on both sides so here what after once it is done okay now slowly the nuclear membrane starts reforming okay nuclear membrane starts reforming no oh, sorry so nuclear membrane starts forming what are the what is the last stage before we saw that we have telophase and cytokinesis so at the end of telophase the nuclear membranes are formed the genetic material which is present is equally distributed on both the daughter cells the cytoplasmic uh, organelles and the cytoplasm is also equally distributed to both the daughter cells and we can see a cleavage furrow you can see a cleavage furrow this is called as cleavage furrow at the telophase in cytokinesis at the point of cleavage furrow there is a splitting happening and the cells are separating out so that we can see two different cells so this stage is called as cytokinesis so here what is happening cytoplasm is dividing parent cell becomes two daughter cells with identical genetic information very important so this is about mitosis now let us look at meiosis already you all know this regions these all things okay but we are simply we are trying to uh, study a little bit more in detail that's it so in meiosis what we, what is important for us before meiosis there are some events which are happening okay what is that events we will see this is called as pre meiotic phase okay pre meiotic phase in pre meiotic phases what is happening okay so see here this pre meiotic s phase and in this particular uh, pre meiotic s phase 
all the chromosomes which are present okay condensing they are coming together chromatin condenses come together they form chromosomes okay so till here all clear right then all the sister chromatids are coming together okay replication is done we can see all the number of chromosomes and now it is entering into the meiotic prophase now meiotic prophase is a very important phase what is happening in meiotic prophase meiosis happens in two parts meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in meiosis 1 we have prophase which is again of five stages what are the five stages of meiotic 1 prophase leptotene zygotene pachytene diplotene diakinesis okay once again i'll repeat what are the stages of meiosis 1 prophase okay meiosis also contains four stages we'll go back and just have a look at it same like mitosis we have prophase metaphase anaphase telophase but meiosis happens in two parts meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in meiosis 1 prophase itself has got five stages what are the five stages leptotene zygotene pachytene diplotene and diakinesis okay so prophase contains five stages in meiosis 1 now what are the stages we will see what is happening now let us say that these are the number of chromosomes inside the nucleus let's say that there are 23 pairs of chromosomes okay now see they are labeled capital a and small a capital b and small b what do you represent capital a one is from maternal set of chromosome and the other is paternal that is father side paternal set of chromosome now let's say this is first chromosome this is second pair of chromosome like this 23 pairs of chromosomes are there this is the best part of meiosis what is happening the maternal and paternal chromosomes are now identifying each other okay they are locating themselves in leptotene what is happening the monologous chromosomes okay monologous means or homologous chromosomes means what is happening paternal and maternal chromosomes are attracted to each other okay there is a kind of chemical attraction which is going on inside okay so chemotaxis it is called as chemotaxis so this happens and because of that during leptotene stage identification of maternal and paternal chromosomes is happening okay next it will enter into zygotene zygote means fusion fusion of male and female chromosome male and female nucleus is called as zygote right the new formed cell same like that what is happening the maternal and paternal chromosomes of homologous pair homologous pairs means we have first pair of chromosome we have second pair of chromosomes remember that karyotyping we have arranged them in 23 pairs so same like that this 23 pairs are coming together and they are arranging themselves together at one place okay so see here let's say first pair of chromosomes are here second pair of chromosomes are here okay like that 23 pairs are there inside the nucleus which are coming together at the zygotene stage then this is the most important stage which is called as pachytene okay pachytene means what patches patches means there are adhesion patches okay adhering patches in the p and q arms of maternal and paternal chromosomes small small adhering points develop okay so at this adhesion points attachment or the maternal and paternal chromosomes are getting attached together okay forms an adhesion patches that's why this stage is called as pachytene 
So you see the next stage is again the most important stage. What is happening? There is genetic combination. Okay, what is happening here? Genetic combination. See the color codes, colors are changing. Can you see that? So what is happening at the patches? Diplotin. Diplotin means what is happening? The cell, uh, the, the chromosome of maternal is going towards the paternal side and paternal is coming towards the maternal side. That means it's not coming actually. It is splitting in different way. Okay, that's all. So diplotin stage, what is happening? Slowly, the chromosome starts splitting. Okay, but what is happening? See here, we are getting a new combination of chromosome, new genetic material. What is this new genetic material? Each chromosome has got combination of maternal genes and paternal genes. Can you see that there is a combination of color? Right? So every chromosome has got now new genetic composition. Okay? So totally 